I'm deep digging down Across the woods I scan With my metal detector and my pointer I search for gold deep below the earth When it's found I replace the turd I mostly find what I'm looking for Oh yes I do Deep Digger Dan, come on, get in. Right, hello guys. Today you're in for a treat, a big treat. I'm going to find some smashing things today. I just know I am, I can feel it. The only downside to today could be if I keep finding bullets. Bullets would take in, keep taking up half of my day digging bullets up. Um, but they give a good signal, so you've got to dig them. If there's no bullets in this pa- this little patch which I've come to, we're going to get some fantastic things. So come with me. Let's see what we can get. Gold. We're going to get gold. Just a tiny, tiny little button there. Or, or a cuff link maybe. Um, but very, very annoyed with myself. Just trying to clean the muck off to get a better picture. Um, I snapped it at the back. And that side appears as if it might be silver. E, I love it when I'm right. Uh, in the same hole as the last coin, the 500 marks, I've just found 50 marks. And, come on, focus. And 200 marks. And the 200 marks says... Well, the 50 marks is, I think, 1919. The 200 marks is 200, uh, 1923. So I'm right, these will be from the two, 1924 crash in Germany. God, I'm good at my history, I, I know my area. I found another gold ring! Another gold ring! Two gold rings in three days! I found my first ever gold ring three days ago. Two days ago, three days ago. And I've just found another. I've just found another. I've just found another. Woohoo! Now, do you know what's really special about this one? It's only got a date in it. An actual date. This must be a man's wedding ring. Let me just check the size. Man's wedding ring. And inside, it's got the date, 3rd of, 3rd of May, sorry, 3rd of May, 1938, 1938, gold, proper, real gold, look at that baby, oh yes, oh yes, and it's all mine, two gold rings, two gold rings in one week, two gold rings in one week. Two gold rings in one week. Come on, get in. I have no idea. No idea at all. Squirrels handcuffs, that's all I can think of. I don't know. It's not gold though, is it? Might be silver, but it's not gold. Okay, we've had a gold we've had a gold for today, a gold ring. How about a bit of silver? Oh yes, do you want a bit of silver? There's your bit of silver. Now, it's a hammered coin. I don't want anyone telling me it's not hammered because I know the German history on coins better than you do. It is a hammered coin. Yes, it's a late date, but they did hammered coins in Germany till the 1800s. This is 1783, I think it said. Yep, there you can see the 83. 1783, German... Uh, Einenthaler, Einenthaler, well it's part silver, Einenthaler silver hammered coin. I need a diamond tester. I only go and need a diamond tester. Why? Because I've just found this. I've just found this. Can you see this? Woohoo! Look at this. Look at this. Look at this baby. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not diamonds, but these things need testing, don't they? You never know. What we have got there is a buckle, I believe. But look at this, like a glass middle. Or is it a big ruby? Might be a big ruby. Like a glass middle. And these beautiful little stones going all the way around edge. Now, who knows? There could, there could be diamonds. They could be diamonds. They just could be. I found silver. I found gold. Diamonds, rubies, you name it, I've found it all today. That is going to be diamond encrusted, ruby middled, silver backed uh, buckle. Beautiful! Ah, 
I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. Okay, we have a what is it? Any ideas on that one? Very small. It's like a little clamp. It's got a screw going through, but it can't go any further. It, there's not a hole underneath there. So it's not a clamp. Well, I don't know. I really, really want to know what that is. Sensible ideas, please. There's a beautiful little thing. Oak leaves with acorns on it, look. It's hollow at the back. Hollowed out. Uh, it looks like it's come off something, but I don't know what. But yeah, lovely. I've only gone and found another one. Exactly the same. And, in the same hole, this little clip thing, look. Turn it over. I don't know. Must be linked to the acorny things in some way. Very strange. We have a nice little buckle there. Now, you're not going to be able to see it. It's not going to focus properly. Stupid phone. Um, but it's got bobbles on it, which are the same as the trench coat buttons I keep finding. So that, there you go, look, you can see it there. So that could well be a soldier's buckle from World War II to match the buttons. Well, there's today's bomb. Another incendiary bomb, a fire bomb. Just the end of it. Um, perfectly safe. Not a bad little souvenir, I suppose, but not the kind of thing I want in my house. So I'm going to leave it where I found it. There's your last one for today. Ten Fennig from uh, 1941, World War II coin. I'm leaving it at that because my battery's flat now. This is as all it will do, this one video. My car's just here. So I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll continue on this video, I think. We'll see. Hello! Right, it's the next day. The next day, my first signal. My first signal. Look what I've got on my first signal. I'm guessing that is another World War II. It must be, yeah. That's a World War II military German buckle. And it's in beautiful condition. Look, it's still got... Everything attached to it at the back, perfect condition, just needs a little clean up and that is fantastic. What a start to the day, what a start. This is it, today is the day I'm going to find everything. Everything which has ever been dumped in Germany, which is cool, I am going to have in my little bag at the back by the end of today. And that is the start of it. Unbelievable! Look at that beauty! The German Eagle! There you go! Mwah. I hope that is just a limited edition Coca-Cola bottle. I don't know what we've got there. I thought it might be a shell or a bomb or something to start with, but now I'm starting to think it isn't because it's got an hole in the middle look. Um, I think it might be off some kind of radiator or something. I don't know. Someone tell me. I always say the same things, don't I? Someone tell me. Get in. Come on. Beautiful. I need to find some more words. I need to pick up an English dictionary and see if I can find some new words. I've forgotten how to speak English just living over here in Germany. Right, I just got really, really excited, close to orgasm, and then I just got, went all floppy. And then I got excited again, and then I went floppy again, and then I went excited, and I think I'm just going to be floppy, to be honest. I found this little box, or whatever it is. It's got writing on the back. I can't make it out until I clean it. Seems to be some writing on. It had these rubber, like a rubber seal going around the edge of it. And this in the middle. Broken, admittedly. Um, but I think it's just a yellow piece of glass, but what on earth that was for? It was just in there like that. What it was, I don't know. I thought it was some kind of nice jewellery. It might have been, I don't know. But yeah, I'm floppy. Never mind. 
Still happy with that, you don't often find things like that. Okay, a little test tube. For what reason could there possibly be a test tube in the middle of the woods? Can someone tell me what this is? Is it to do with drugs? This is what druggies use or something? I don't know. Why is there a test tube in the middle of the woods? It's not a science lab, is it? Right, I found this. A little bracket attached to some wood which has been burnt in the middle. I don't know. And in the same hole I found this. Piece of metal, some kind of clip on it. I don't know. Must be very old though. We're going down 12, 12 inches here. Um, but yeah, all I'm finding literally is bags of masturbation. Just absolute crap. I've had enough. I found that lovely buckle. And for the last two hours I found nothing apart from pigeon racing rings from Poland. Because their racing pigeons are obviously crap and keep getting lost in Germany. I, w I want something special. If I don't get something special in the next ten minutes I'm going home. I've had enough. It's rubbish. Right, this bag of masturbation is starting to get a bit more exciting. There's loads of stuff in this hole and I'm still going. Um, and I'm guessing they're all connected. And I'm hoping this could be World War II stuff. But it probably isn't, it's probably just crap. But, I'll show you what we've got. We've got two more pieces, two pieces of wood have come out there. A piece of rope, a wire, piece of wire, rope. Uh, two of these blocks which look like batteries. Okay, two of them. Because it's black in the middle, I'm guessing they're batteries, I might be wrong. Some more bits of wood here. And then I got this baby come out. <laughs> it's a telephone. Now, is there any chance this is a World War II telephone? You know what, I don't know, what soldiers used to ring the sergeants up and say, Oh, we're being bombed, we're being bombed, send more troops, send the planes over, get them, get them, get them. That kind of thing. Or is this just from a corner phone box, which he used back in the 70s? I don't know. It does have writing on there, look. Halgata signal. Ne Nayomd. With an exclamation mark at the end. It's heavy. And that back, it's like a cushioned back. It's an unusual feel to it, that. So, yeah. I think we've got a big telephone down here. And I'm hoping it's going to be a World War II type telephone. But someone please tell me. I was going to leave all this junk and just call it a bag of masturbation, but I'm definitely taking that bit home anyway. You never know, it could be something special. Right, now I'm definitely starting to think I've got something military. This is next piece to come out. Again, wood, with one of them clips on the corner. But it's got a plate on it, look, and read that. It's A to Z, with names on it. Now that tells me it's code names, you know, code names, you know what I mean, military code names, beautiful, all them names on it, so yep, keeping that, what's this, oh, looks like the handle to the lid off it or something. Maybe this were in a big... I'm, I'm guessing if this is military in World War II, it were in a big box. And that's the handle. I think I've found something pretty cool here. I'm going to keep digging. There's still loads of stuff in there. Right, I'm getting even more excited. Another piece has come out, look. And it's even got a word on which is... Can that possibly even be a word? Now, I know Germans have a lot of long words, but come on. Azelenzeglehalogat. Beautiful. That's like the front of the box. I'm telling you. This is going to be a World War II telephone communication box for the soldiers. I'm sure it is. Another piece there, just on top. Mm. Yeah, just part of the box, I think. There's still more in there. Woohoo! Come on, let's keep going. This is fantastic. How I'm going to carry all this out, I don't know. Right, we're, at, we're down to about 16 inches here. And I've found this big box, which... 
Yeah, that's made of metal. Um, it's got a plate here, a plate here. But this must be part of the telephone. And I'm really, really struggling to get this out. <laughs> but I'm not going to give up until I do. Right. These things are very, very heavy. That's the first thing I'll say. They are also closed. That's the second thing I'll say. Here is the first. They were laying side by side underneath the telephone. Big, basically, a big box. A big metal box. On top... Upside down, I think. On top there, it's got the... Oh, I can't, I can't lift it. They're so heavy. It's got cords. You see, it's upside down, but you can see the cords. So, I'm guessing, you know, like police use Quebec Alpha, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing this is World War II, and that's the cords they used, the German soldiers used. And it's in a box, and it's sealed. Okay? The next one, pretty much the same. Uh, the, yeah, that, that's come off where the... The alpha and all that thing come, comes off. But this one's pretty much the same, but it's got all these fancy bits on. It's got a keyhole or whatever there. How am I going to get in these? And what the hell is in them? What is in them? What is in this? I've brought you some pretty good finds in the past, but I'm telling you, this is... I'm just buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Something in there is going to make me a zillionaire. It's going to be Hitler's gold. It could be Hitler's gold. This could be Hitler's gold in two boxes. That, it's very heavy. It's very heavy. This could just be boxes full of gold. A big piece of gold that big. I need to get them open. I need to go home, don't I? I need to go home and see if I can open these. I need to get them to car. How the hell am I going to lift them to car? The way an absolute ton. <laughs> Come on! Get the bloody well in! This is what life's about. Mwah. Right, just to update you people, I'm home. My table is a mess. My girlfriend thinks I've brought two bombs home. Um, right, I've managed to open them. I know what's inside them. And they are exactly what I thought they were going to be. Unfortunately, not in the condition I hoped they'd be. But look, here you go. You're excited, aren't you? You see, this is how to orgasm. Oh, look at the state of that, man. It is a telephone communication box type thing from World War II. It must be World War II. A soldier used to carry this on his back. Had leather straps here, so he used to carry it on his back. You've got the handset, your wire, a few knobs in the middle. And all underneath must be a battery. I'm guessing that is all battery inside. And, oh, they're in such a state. I really thought, with them being sealed boxes, they'd be in good condition inside, but they're not. They're both absolutely battered. But, can't complain with that, can I? Two World War II communication boxes. This is what they used on the field to say... Watch what you're doing, the bombs are coming. Watch out, England are on the way. Oh, America have joined in. Jump out of way, get out of way, get out of way. Well, they did get out of way, and they buried these, and I found them. <laughs> the mine, get in. <laughs> Come on, beautiful. Deep Digger Dan, come on, get in!